Hi everyone, welcome to Kara's house. Today we're going to be threading these bars ready for the R12 build. Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've threaded the bars a little bit. I've got a 550mm E tube wire which is going to link the shifters together. I've got a 250mm one which goes to the charging port in the bar end and these are 1700 hydraulic brakes. It's connected the shifter off of the bar and then slid it on, did it up, plugged in my two cables and this side I've just threaded my uh, Fisher wire through and we're going to put in a 650 which is going to go from the shifter down to my wireless unit inside the frame. It's basically it. So we're just going to do this one handed. So we'll just pull that and that was that easy. So these two ends are going to connect into the shifter and I'll thread the hydraulic brake line through. Easy. Okay, so two DRT wires here. I've put my threader through and there it is. You can see it moving backwards and forwards in the hole. So I'm just going to get some long nose pliers and fish it out. So what we'll do is we'll pull that through. So we've got a magnet on the end. That's gonna fit here. And we've got a little screw thread which screws into the hydraulic hose and then we just pull it through. Hydraulic hoses I'm using are the SMBH59JKSS. Okay, that's screwed into the end ready. We're just gonna stick the magnets together, feeding this end, pulling the other end. Hydraulic cable is in. And as we can see, it's just come out here. There it is, screwed in. And when I say push this end, you're just feeding it in and you're not really pulling this end, you're just guiding it. Because if you pull it too hard, the magnet comes apart. What we'll do is we'll pull that through, connect the shifter up and then stick it on. So first thing we need to do is drive this needle in. Okay, so we're set up in the needle driver and we'll just screw that down and it'll push the needle in. Needle is now home. Okay, we've got the bit from the lever, the screw in for the lever body, the olive and the needle. What we'll do is we'll put that into the into the STI lever and then we'll just screw it up. Yeah. That's where it goes. We're just going to do it up uh, to five to seven new meters. Up. So on this side, we've got hydraulic cable, two DITs. On this side, we've got hydraulic cable, two DITs. So. That is the charging port up to the shifter. That shifter joins to that shifter and this shifter comes out through this cable and joins to the wireless unit. That then joins to the junction box which goes off to everything else, front, rear and battery. We're all ready. I'll be putting some cable dampener on these. Uh, so they don't tap around in the frame like this. I've got to say to Yolio, well done on working on that bar because that was so much easier. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've taped up the bars now. Um, these are ready for the bar tape when I install them on my bike. So we've got in the charging port, we've put in the housing and we've taped it up. We've also taped that, that E-tube wire up the bar and we've taped it there so it's got a little bit of a bend so it's not being pulled. The same here on this side and I'll just turn them over so you can have a look. So basically that's what I've done. I've just taped them in so they sit against the bars that side and we've taped it in just so it sits against the bars that side. So if you like the channel give me a thumbs up that'd be great. We'll see you on the next part of the build series. Till then take care. Thanks for watching Kara's House. See you later, bye.